Rachel Nevada. September 2019. To further investigate what might be hidden at the secret Area 51 base, former British Ministry of Defense officer Nick Pope and filmmaker Jeremy Corbell have enlisted the help of local resident Jorg Arnu. Jorg, who has lived in nearby Rachel, Nevada for 15 years, has been a first-hand witness to Area 51's recent history. What's the strangest uh, interaction you've seen of people coming in or out of the base? Heavy construction equipment going into the base when they were doing construction. And also sometimes you see military vehicles being dragged into the base. They set them up inside the bombing ranges for shooting targets. Um, just pull over here. Okay. There's a sheriff's vehicle coming our way. We don't want any trouble. We don't want to block them. Okay. We don't want to go any further. This is extra security. I don't think we've ever seen quite this much. In light of the tension surrounding the Storm Area 51 event, the military has implemented a zero-tolerance lockdown at the gate of the secret base. So, here we are. I think this is about as far as we can go. The point of no return, right? Yes. We cannot go any further. All this barbed wire here, all these security measures, this is the point at which, if you take one step further, the full force of security will come down on us, right? Make no mistake, we step one step into their territory and everything is going to change. If I came up here, is anybody going to talk to me? Are they going to no. say anything to me? No. These are signs that spell out in plain English bad things are going to happen to you if you cross this line. Right. It's very clear. So now look, if we walked past that barrier, up that road, what would we see? What would we find? We would be walking down about 20 miles, a paved road, into the valley that Area 51 is located in. In between here and the base, there's more security checkpoints, there's more road sensors. If you were to get to Area 51, you're standing there and you look around and it looks like any other military air force base. But the good stuff is all in hangars. It is not out in the open. It's not like, you know, they got the saucer right there on the runway. So there are hangars, obviously, but yeah. uh, there are even rumors of uh, huge underground facilities, facilities carved into the sides of the mountains. There are people that talk about underground facilities. They keep tabs on people that watch the base. They know exactly when somebody's up on Tikabu Peak, for instance, one of the view spots of the base. Located 26 miles from the Area 51 base, Tikabu Peak is the only public land where people can actually see the Groom Lake runway and hangars. And they know exactly, okay, right now is a good moment to fly our good stuff. And that's when they bring out the good stuff. I've actually been on Tikabu Peak when they did a test flight and it was the most amazing thing. We look at the base and all of a sudden in the middle of the night, all the runway lights come on. I mean, it's, it's the most amazing thing to watch. All of a sudden the, the desert in front of you, below you becomes alive. You see a light taxiing to the runway, the light takes off, the runway lights go out, that light goes out, and that was the end of that. I mean, literally, feet above the runway, the lights just went out. That's ultra high security. I mean, whatever that thing was, clearly they were really trying to protect it and, yes. and minimizing that anyone could get eyes on it. Correct.